and now we can build dot book XML DTD. So I'm just going to mark off my HTML common. It's done. And we can now install this dot book XML 4.5. Right, so yeah, so I'm just looking at my list that I'm keeping of packages I've installed and can see if I um, go here and show you there's three different versions of DocBook XML that's why I say it's important to check that you're looking at the correct instructions so this one we're installing is version 4.5 so we've got to make sure we use this one here so let's proceed with fetching the package And let's start installing it. Package source is distributed in zip format and requires unzip. You should create a directory and change that directory before unzipping the file to ease removal of the source files after the package has been installed. So that's quite important. It's quite a pain if you um, have a package that um, just extracts stuff without putting it into a subdirectory. So we'll do that first. We'll do make the sgml common sorry that's the previous package this one is doc book dash xml dash 4.5 it doesn't really matter what you call it but it's obviously better if you call it what it actually is going to contain um, just for reference if you came but you know if we went off to make a cup of tea and came back um, that you know that what that directory actually holds So probably the easiest way to extract this file now is to change so I don't know why I keep looking at that one is to change into this directory which is XML 4.5 and to unzip if I run unzip by itself um, I think it extracts with directories it doesn't actually give us any commands to use but I think unzip extracts with directories just do dot dot to go back to the BLFS directory and the name of the file that we want to extract yeah it looks like it has done let's do a listing just to check yeah there's the only directory that it's created so that's okay so I've got all these commands to type in now or rather not type in to copy and paste so let's do that Um, sorry, this is supposed to be the root user. I'll just paste it again. Press enter, that's done. Then it says to create or update and populate the etc XML docbook catalog file by running the following commands as a user. So you can see that it actually checks to see if it already exists this command and if it doesn't then it creates this doc book and then this I imagine this XML catalog just appends all this information into that, that like mini database so let's copy all of that Right, let's just make sure I've copied this correctly. I'm just going to check what I've already copied. So I'm checking this bit here of what's in the book. Just cross referencing, make sure they match up. So the last bit I'm copying is from here. 
that's the last line there so this last bit should be from here to the end basically so I'll paste that in and just check that there's that db not nx which is up there db syntax is there db gen ent is there and then these two blocks here so that looks fine to me so I'll press enter I'm confident that I haven't accidentally pasted in uh, two copies of the same bit of information I've copied which could happen okay then this is a different file yeah this is the etc XML doc book so this is some information going to the etc XML catalog so let's copy those commands now and once again there's an if command at the beginning which creates a catalog if it doesn't already exist it does in our case but the code take, takes care of that we don't need to worry whether it does exist or not again I'll just do a quick check that I've copied everything correctly looks ok, press enter And configuration information. The above installation creates the files and updates the catalogs in order to utilize Docbook XML DTD v4.5. When any version 4.x is requested in the system identifier, you need to add additional statements to the catalog files. If you have any of the Docbook XML DTDs referenced below already installed in your system, remove those entries from the for command below. issue the commands as root user um, oh right I see so what it's saying is that if we've got any prior versions of the doc, doc book XML DTDs so that's 4.1.2, 4.2, 4.3, we haven't got that so we don't need to run this so that's that uh, finished with let's come out of this and delete it okay so this looks like um, the previous commands have made changes by the roots and that's because we did everything as the root as I remember so we need to remove this as the root and that's done